This week we vent our frustrations over a bird. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 78, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com insert get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town, and joining us as usual, it's Sorg. Sorg, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Uh, I achieved uh, almost uh, not throwing my phone after my session with Flappy Birds, <laughs> and I have some uh, right. new Google Glassy stuff I want to show off here, but I'll let you guys go first here. All right. Uh, Chachi, what did you achieve this um, week in gaming? I, too, accomplished not throwing my phone um, <laughs> over that stupid bird. Um, and also involving the bird, I had to... to God damn it, Riz! <laughs> 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 and, uh, uh-huh. Also involving the bird, I held the uh, insert coin to begin high score for probably about 12 hours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then... Everybody else took it from me, and I said, fuck this game, <laughs> and walked away. No, I'm not even kidding. I uninstalled it as soon as I said I was done playing it. <sighs> Who holds no. that high score for Insert, Shut up, insert Coin to begin? Oh, oh Riz, Shut up, what, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Two. Fuck you, Bobby. <laughs> what, what did you oh, achieve in gaming shit. this week, Riz? I guess I it's, not, it's not what you just did there. So. I hate this game. I All right. Really hate this game, um, but no, also um, GTA. Uh, I did play a little bit of GTA Online. It got a lot better, by the way. Oh, good. A whole lot better. Um, <clears throat> there's a prison fight. Prison fight. Prison riot. Oh wow. Prison riot death match. <laughs> I like prison and rights. by the way, I'm I'm seconds away from throwing this phone. <laughs> Just walk away. All right, and, and I achieved the high score on Flappy Bird this week with Shut a high up, score Bobby. of nobody, 60, no. and nobody's gonna take it from me. Yeah, you're right, because I right. stopped playing it. Yeah, so there. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to I, 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 I actually, anymore. I actually, have, I actually have heard of people that have like 200 and some, and. It's that's insane. That idea is insane high, to me. Absolutely I will never, I will never approach sixty. Here, again. the high score. Yeah, that that I think that's rigged. Like the, the high, high score yeah. is like two billion something or something. No, that's that's insane. Wow, I, I, I can't. There's a lot that. of zero. There are a lot of uh, decim- like places in this thing. When yeah. I was playing it on Saturday, the high score was four trillion. Yeah, there's no way. It is now at nine quintillion. There's no way. Yeah, that's like an eight-hour shift. And that's like that's somebody has to have like a robot or something. They have to have. They had yeah. to hack. It. Yeah, yeah. There's you no guys, way. Somebody guys, had to hack that game. Did you guys see that the guy that made the game uh, is asking everybody to leave him alone? Yeah, we're he, gonna get to that later. Okay. <laughs> I snuck it into the dock. At the oh, last there it is. There it is. You did sneak All that right. into the dock. There, I wasn't ready for that. But we're going to move on now to our uh, Across the Net uh, feature with Chachi. Net. net, 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 net. Weird things from across the internet, net, 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 net. Okay, um, man, this week we changed it up a bit. It's all videos. Uh, that was just by luck. Um, and then I also added a, uh, a runners-up section. Um, the runners-up this week was a European-style uh, stop-motion link. Where they made him a chubby little fellow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's yeah. like it, it's like if you put Bobby into a link costume. <laughs> no, it, it's adorable. Yeah. He's, a chubby, he's a chubby little fellow. It's, it's a okay, glandular not. problem. It's okay, Bobby. You're just big no, I'm not. It's I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just, but uh, and Please. then the, also the other runner up. Uh, there's a little kid who was sad because Pokemon aren't real. Please. Yeah, so, I heard about wait, 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 wait. So he, he wrote Santa a letter, didn't he? Yeah, he wrote <laughs> Santa a letter asking him what to do. Oh, Pikachu. On a side note, please please sign up for my Kickstarter and donate money so I can learn DDP yoga. What? <laughs> what? Um, I, this next week, thing, next I, thing I got, you're going to tell me is Santa's not real. Um, I think you need to have a chat with your parents. But, um... <laughs> I, I, this week, uh, we have uh, from YouTuber Lore, uh, he covers a bunch of stuff in a short amount of time, mm-hmm. and uh, this one is the entire Final Fantasy franchise. <gasps> what? 
Um, and it wow, takes some. What's it that? Takes some, it takes some eighty seconds. Wow. And it, it has all of the snide remarks and quirkiness that you would expect from an eighty-second review of an entire franchise. Lightning um, Returns and uh, Final Fantasy X and X Two Remake or re, uh, Redo HD coming out soon. And next up, um, <laughs> I I, I, it's called Peacetime Mega Man. Uh, and what this is is a YouTube series in which uh, these people show what it would what would happen if Mega Man no longer had to fight. Um, the first episode is called Couch Bits, and it bas- basically takes you through the beginning of uh, Mega Man not having to fight anyone. And it's a few minutes of him waiting for uh, the doctor to call him back to find out if he can get another hand. <laughs> Dr. Wiley. Yeah. Dr. Wiley. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely worth a shot. It's uh, linked on the insertcointobegin.com. And last but not least, uh, in for the a guy's engineering project, he had to create something, and he created a way to play piano and Tekken at the same time. Nice. Um, so what he did is he hooked a, a keyboard up to a uh, a MIDI box and hooked that up to an arcade control board, and the the keys uh, respond. Or the yeah, the keys activate a button on the keypad, and it controls the character on screen. And it shows him going through the trials of learning how to fight with it to the point where he actually uh, the last thing he shows is a online battle. So <laughs> it, it, it's definitely worth checking out. Nice. That's way too much work. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I, the the reason this one made it into the post this week is because um. At Sorg's bachelor party, <laughs> um, we discovered that you could use DDR pads oh, no. to play a fighting game. Wow. And one of the guys there spent a good two hours uh, using the DDR pads uh, to that, fight. That would be tough. To play Dragon Ball Z Budokai, I believe. Yeah, that's – yeah. That's a horrible game. Um, and so it, it, because sim- of that, this post had enough. to make it – had to make it in. Hmm. Nice. Nice. All right, uh, we're going to move on to our next section, things you should be made aware of. And, um, guys, how many Dreamcast games were there? A few. Do you guys know? Uh, two, A gazillion. There were 220 games released for the Sega Dreamcast, but now it's 221. Uh, Sega, uh, um, there's a new game for the Dreamcast. Uh, not officially licensed by Sega, but um, a company... Um, came out with a new game called Redux Dark Matter, which is like an R-type shooter. Um, it's It seems pretty cool. I'd say it's a cross between Mega Man and uh, like R-type or Gradius. Wait, where's the um, Mega Man part? Um, the, the ship can actually like, it almost has like a Mega Buster to it. Oh, okay. That's where I got the Mega Man from. Okay, I was gonna say, um, like, what? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it seems pretty cool. Um, it has like a Mega Buster blast. Like if you hold the button and it just goes... <laughs> And takes out like a whole bunch of the aliens that are coming after you, um, or other ships. Um, kind of looks like a uh, metal slug. I don't know if it's Similar. yeah. I don't know if it's going to be available in the United States. Um, I guess you could buy it and bring it over. Um, but it it's thirty six euro. Um, I don't know how much that is either. <laughs> it's a lot. It's thirty six. Can't do euro. math. Yeah, I can't do math. I can't translate money. So, but yeah. Um, I, I think it's pretty cool that they're releasing like old system games now. Um, I, somebody else said about a, a Super Nintendo game that was recently released too. Um, again, these aren't f- officially licensed, so buy at your own risk, I guess. Uh, did the math? But did I the thought math, that... it's uh, forty-eight point sixty-six dollars. Wow. Well, about, about, about the, I guess back in the day, same <laughs> price. <laughs> pretty typical. Back in the so, day. Yeah, back in the day when the, when the Dreamcast was a thing. We feel so. old now, don't we? But yeah, it's it's better than C Man for which Riz yelled at me in the chat. Shut up. In the, in the article. Was awesome. <laughs> I, I I don't know where you get that from. So shut your mouth. <laughs> all right, but it's no crazy taxi. So, um, all right. Crazy and uh, our next taxi. story, <laughs> our next story uh, is um, uh, guys, I think Nintendo was listening to us or something because they Riz, were. I think you have you have something on this. I, I, 
it happened all so quickly that I think they were actually watching what we were saying and what I wrote in the Riz rant a few weeks ago. Um, for those of you who don't know, Nintendo um, sucks this year. Uh, let's see, what did I say? 3.8 million? Copies? Nintendo don't. 3.8 million copies of uh, of the Nintendo Wii U mm-hmm. is projected to be sold. Nintendo. And um, let's see. The first thing we were we were we talked about on the show and on the uh, on the actual insert coin to begin article was that they need to go out and have third parties run their shit. And third parties, they're 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 thinking about having third parties run some of their stuff. So the names of, you know, maybe not Mario or sorry, Jaji, Zelda, but they're probably going to have Metroid do another game like like the other M, hopefully a lot better than the yeah, other. Hopefully better than the other M. Um, but they are looking forward, they're looking towards getting that um Thing going to some get, get that somebody else on that on their payroll to do something fun with their game. Uh, and the next thing we were talking about was that uh, they need another they, they need to do something with mobile. Not 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 nothing against the uh, you know 3ds which is selling more than the Wii U, um, and maybe because they have a popularity in the mobile gaming market. Um, like just have it on the iPhone, have it on Google Play, and guess what? They're doing it. They're thinking about doing it. They, they're 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 close to doing it, and that they're saying many games are going to be on free on uh, on iOS and Android apps. That, so that's good. And finally. They're ditching the Wii U. In 2015, they're predicting a new system will be out, and it's for your health. Yeah, that's the th- weird thing about it. And, and but no, it's not that weird because because like I said in the article on Insert Coin and Begin, um, the the fact is the Wii was wasn't marketed as something for your health. Yeah, but actually, was, yeah, that is one thing they did do well was like it was. It and, but after after they saw everything go on with you know the elderly using the Wii U, the Wii system in their in in their you know hotspot or whatever their, their area, and seeing that they like the Wii U bowl, Wii bowling and <laughs> Wii tennis and all that, they had to capture that niche. A niche, I, I don't know, but it it's just to the point where now they're going to create a whole different game system for your health. I swear to God, if I have to do sit-ups to uh, uh, to solve a puzzle in Legend of Zelda, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'm just throwing da, it out da, there. Da, da. Well, what, when when you get, when you hit the da 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 da, you can like throw your arms up and get through. Yeah, it's like you have yeah. to do a burpee. I don't Talk even to know you, what you have that to do is. A burpee to open that. <laughs> I don't even know what you, that is. You're going to learn, sir. I swear to God. <laughs> if I have to do a jumping jack to throw the boomerang, you have no idea how pissed I'm going to be. <laughs> I also I also heard about how Nintendo wants, wants to make their next system more like an iOS, too. Like, they want those kind of features. Which might be a good so idea. So they want to have a Steam box. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Sorg, I think you have some stuff for us on glass. There I am. Hey. hey. Uh, yeah, so um, this is gaming related, and maybe this is a little bit of the future of gaming. I wanted to hold this over for you guys instead of Awesome Cast. You're welcome. Um, 
So like I said, uh, Google um, kind of released this kind of uh, demo pack of games. We've had something before. Uh, I think we talked about on Awesome Cast the Spellista the game. Um, but this is their kind of uh, collection of conceptual things. Now I have a screencast here. It's a little delayed, uh, but you'll get the idea. But, but if you install this pack through the Glassware store, um, you, what you'll do is at first you could, of course, go OK Glass, play a game. And you see we have a selection of stuff here. So right off the bat, uh, the one I've liked the most so far is Balance. Oh, or it's going to open Spellista. That works too. <laughs> and actually, have I shown this one on the show before? Uh -uh. So this one, I have fairly simple. Um, it's just kind of a unscrambling a word, and it's actually telling me in my ear. Oh, she's, she's telling me what to do, so it's not actually letting me select anything. You hold it over. It feels like a Kinect game. Only for your eye. Yeah. So, well, she said, she's putting yeah. me through a tutorial here. Okay, Glass, play a game. Hey, sword. Balance. Yeah. I love you, man. But I swear to God, if you call Google Glass the future of gaming one more time, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> well, this is what so, let's see. Chachi doesn't want to have a... Uh, do, do crunches for... Zelda. Maybe it's going to be a... Or Glass for mobile gaming. Office. Maybe the future of gaming is going to be a mashup between Google Glass, Connect, and Oculus Rift. But well, they have some pretty cool concepts here. So, and I apologize to anybody on audio. Uh, we'll put this on YouTube, too. So we have a nice balanced game. Blocks come down, and you actually tilt your head. Uh, and I just realized it's not popping up there. <laughs> there we go. So... So that's kind of fun. So you actually get to uh, uh, bounce. And oh, sword, sword fail. Oh. <laughs> oh. We'll do another one. Okay, Glass. Yeah. Play a they game. Look like the, the guy from the bounce thing. Tennis. Like, this, uh, one, this one gets a little weird because I feel like I have to turn too far for it. They look like Ter Terrence and Philip from South Park. A little bit. So <laughs> it actually kind of serves it back. and I should move my head and I should be able to get it in the circle to hit it back. That's not tennis. Up, up. It says it's tennis. It looks like, for those on audio, it looks like somebody's bouncing a ball at your face as yeah, fast as they can. Did you see how far I had to move my head in order to hit that one ball? Like, it I looks think like he, a flash game that you do had you, to do that, the paddle and the ball thing. Okay, glass. Do you, do you have to, like, headbutt the ball? Uh, what's that? Do you have to head, headbutt the ball? I don't like balls flying at my face. <laughs> Or how about Shape Splitter? And then this is basically Fruit Ninja. Now, I, I was doing With this in shapes. too dark of a room before, but actually I have to Cut. Yeah. avoid the bombs. So yeah, it's Fruit Ninja. It's basically Fruit Ninja. It's Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja! I hit the bomb. And it blows up. Fruit Ninja. And Sword Explodes. Sword uh, Explodes. Okay, Glass. <laughs> Sword Explodes again. Uh, clay shooter. Now, here's probably the most annoying one if you're in a room of old friends. Does it feature a laughing dog? Does are it say? To, oh, I want to shout to things. Oh! Uh, <laughs> shoot! Bang! Bang! You have to say yep. bang! You have to say bang. That's bang. the best. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, you suck oh. at this game. Full bang. Well, every time I look up for it. It, it, I'm looking right up into the light in the studio, so it's not working out too well. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Pull. Bang. Yes. You know, the fun thing is, it's actually reacting to everything bang. I'm saying. So you don't have to exactly say bang. pull and bang. Pull bang. Pull, pull bang. Pull bang. Pull bang. Pull bang. Bang. <laughs> uh, you get the idea. <laughs> Short, you, you're this not is some, good at this game, are you? This, I'm looking great. up at the light. It's... <laughs> This is some great audio podcasting. It's the, okay, light, it's the light's fault. Google? Oh, uh, my. I'm sorry, not Google. And actually, it's telling me I need to cool down. Okay, Glass. Play a game. Okay, Glass, take an ice bath. Matcher. And then this is just a kind of a... This is just a shape-matching game. But it's kind of fun how... It feels like you're in a 3D space for this one. Again, it's just a matching game, but... It looks like you're on a TARDIS. Yeah! I don't know what that means. Glass is bigger on the inside. 
There it is. Yay, yeah, sorry. you did it. You mean the smaller on the outside. Yeah, so smart. that gives you an idea. Again, these are just kind of, they they really just feel like tech demos at this point. Like kind of like early Wii U games that they always showed off before. Obviously, they haven't done much with it since. So I'm kind of curious to see where they go with this. And this is the first kind of look at uh, gaming they've been doing on a device like this. Um, so I, I, it sounds like you guys are fairly unimpressed so far. Um, no, I thought it was, no, it was all right. I, I'm okay with all of them except for the tennis. Yeah. Um, that seems a little too intense for something like that. <laughs> um, but like the the shape match or the the fruit ninja one or the shooting one, I could get behind. It's yeah. better than a virtual boy. It is better than a virtual. It is definitely boy. better than virtual boy. But <laughs> again, it's a kind of a first step. I actually had the problem. Apparently, something was off with the unit because it was spinning everything. Like like something That's got weird. screwed up with like like its level. I, and oh, I, I bet you. I thought the games were broken, and and I actually went into that one thing, Chachi, we talked about where. Um, the, the secret thing where you're in the room with all the developers, and uh -huh. that was spinning. That was fun. Um, oh. Oh, I bet you got sick from that. So, I, I don't know. It's um, it, it, it's it's a pretty cool start. Some of them seem a little harder than others. All of them are better than that Frogger game we tried ages ago. <laughs> um, but again, like so, some things just seem a little weird, like the like like I said, the tennis one, where like I have to I have to turn all the way around sometimes in order to uh, find the ball. So I think it just needs kind of calibrated a little bit um but a pretty cool free uh, uh fun thing for google glass and you know maybe it'll develop into something a little more interesting i want them to do ingress on this thing <laughs> Chachi, i know you've been playing that that would be cool like they'll the, like walk around and you just see like like because they're, they're just, like on the map they're like uh energy pouring out of the portals right yeah so like what if you just like walk down the street and you saw like the portal like coming out of the ground or something like that, or like in the area or something. Like it becomes more of an augmented reality, uh, and you can kind of see at least with that matching game a little bit of like you know being able to kind of see in a 3D space there, um, you know as you move side to side on, on the matching game. Uh, you so see, games, see, games like that would work. Mm -hmm. You could play Portal for real, but like I don't know it. Right now, you can't get too intense with it, or it's just not going to work. No, definitely not, and that's why it's going to be. That's why I think they're easing into it with uh, these sorts of sorts of demos. It'd be so. a huge turnoff. Mm -hmm. And then when do you play it? Like I can't imagine being in a doctor's office and going, pull. You know, <laughs> bang. It, it just bang. <laughs> I mean, it, it just like you're not sitting on the bus doing that, you know. So I think it it kind of shuts down a lot of the opportunity. With these things, like if this you're is sitting on the bus and doing that sword, at least it doesn't make you go. <laughs> people are gonna need. People are gonna look at you like you need help. And you can't it. even do it. Like I actually, uh, when I did the, the 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 clay shooter game, it kept like shooting and pulling and everything. And I'm like, what's going on? I had a podcast playing over the speakers. <laughs> oh. So it just like picked up like all the audio. It's actually just reacting <laughs> to sounds than anything so you have to play it in a quiet room so there's like these location issues i think so, when it comes so to you something could like go this. pew 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 you could you that's could. awesome oh i want to do that now well okay glass play a <laughs> game clay shooter <laughs> all right hold on it's loading it's loading <laughs> it's loading we're seeing if it, he can go pew 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 pull pew 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 i did it and i got it <laughs> <laughs> pew, awesome. pew, pew. all right sir do you want to move on to our next story please uh, all right. Uh, are you taking this one or am I? Am I taking this one? Yeah. So, um, so we were all we talked about. Oh, wait, I'm still playing clay shooter. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? What happened? Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> all right, clay shooter's done. Um, so Flappy Birds, we've all been playing it, but apparently, Chachi, what's going on over there? <laughs> I'm good. All right. All right. He's adjusting. He's adjusting. I'm looking for something. All right, that's fine. Um. Flappy Birds, apparently the, the Flappy Birds developer has asked the media to give him peace. Um, uh, 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 do you know the guy's first name? name? Uh, What's that first name, sorry? Dong, Dong Win. Nguyen. Dong Win. Dong, no, it's Dong Win. Dong Win? Really? That's Dong the pronunciation? That's how you pronounce N-G. It looks like Nguyen, but it's Win. I thought it was Nguyen. Like, I, thought, I thought we have a friend that, that they pronounce as Nguyen. Maybe, uh, it's it someone, is. maybe it is Nguyen. Maybe it's, some people pronounce it Win, too. It's like the Smith. Yeah. Okay. No, but, but still, no, I'm not getting away from the point. I asked, I asked him about it one time because I have an attorney, 
um, with the same last name. Dong Win. Yeah, hey, we're missing the point here. His he first name is the, Dong. Uh, <laughs> so Mr. Dong uh, says in a tweet, please uh, press people are overrating the success of my games. It is something I never want. Please give me peace. So uh, stop making or, games. So stop making well, games still, that yeah, drive was, us insane. Like, but it, it, he, I can see his point though. I mean, he just wanted to get like a game made that he, he enjoys playing or he wants people to enjoy it and not, you know, mm-hmm. he, didn't, he didn't ask for fame like most some people. Too late. You know? His other two games, if you want to download them and make them even more rich and un, un you know, apologetically <laughs> leave me alone, uh, Super Ball Juggling and Shuriken Block. I'm going to download these now. <laughs> Super Ball Juggling. Yeah. Dong made Super Ball Juggling. Dong made Super Ball <laughs> Juggling. <laughs> uh, we are a mature podcast. <laughs> we are sorry for the Asian community. We are just a- love the name Dong. Dong is his first name. We are a mature podcast. Hey, uh, so you guys want me to email him to see if he'll do an interview? I don't know, but his graphics are pretty he, tremendous I don't think he there. Would, I don't think he would are you going to show him this show? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Please uh, do. Just see if we get a response. Why not? Let's start. Let's start trolling the uh, the video game community. That, that's how we'll get out. Get by. Oh man, you know how bad I want to troll Phil Fish again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Like, so hard. I, I just want to troll the crap Bobby out of Bobby Cherry uh, reminds us in Twitter that Flappy Bird sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a good game. It is not a terribly it's good not. game no. at all. It's a horrible it's game. It's a horrible game. But, but, but it's addicting. The, like, fact, it's, it's, the it's, fact that it has a share component to your score, and it is so ridiculous... It, 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 it's amazing. And, and this guy is making money hand over it, fist. He has to be off of the advertisements for this because they're all free games. Yeah. He just and said, not I'm even going- that, on the Google, the Google app, they have a scoreboard to show you how much you suck at this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's like awesome. right now, it goes Bobby yeah, yep. at 60, yep. me at 49, yep. Chachi at 39, and our friend and, and Fuzz – Twenty. Oh, he had fourteen the other day. He's moving up. Twenty. Yeah, AJ and his brother were were uh, saying about how they like AJ can't get over like sixteen, I think. So yeah, it's like everybody's fighting over. I'm downloading it on the Android now. I saw we're people fighting over Dong. I saw people on Twitter celebrating because they got like thirteen. <laughs> Noobs. Yeah, Mike and Bob were talking about that. The freak show. Uh, in Pittsburgh, the morning show, the Kiss Morning Freak Show, they were fighting, or they were saying about how there's, they can only, they got so excited at five and six. Yeah. <laughs> like they were like actually starting to sweat and their heart were, pound, were this, pounding. This bird so. is, the, the bird is a dick, okay? <laughs> like, like the bird is just such a wimp, you know? It's, and, it's and not the bird's like a, fault. You, no, it, it is it, the bird's it's fault. The bird's fault. If that bird would fly straight, there are different birds, though. They're different colors. So They're my first experience, bird. I thought, and, and, and do you guys, go ahead. Do you guys fly better at night or day? <laughs> I, I find myself flying better when it's nighttime. I didn't know there was a night and day until I loaded this version. Yeah. On the Nexus Seven, there is a night and day version. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't think they have that on the iPhone version. Shit. Um. Oh. So, so, so my first experience was I loaded it and I hit the tap because it said to tap, but I didn't. I thought mm-hmm. it was a tutorial or something. So I just tapped once and then he crashed and then the yeah. app crashed yeah. immediately the three game. times in a row. I'm like, yeah. what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I tap again and then it <laughs> worked. It was really weird. There's no tutorial. You just go. No, well, there is. It tells you to tap. tap. And die. That counts. All right. I can't do this. I absolutely can't do this. Can we move on from the uh, Flappy Bird? What if they did a version of this that instead of tapping, (laughs) it was on Google Glass, and every time you blink, or every time you say pew 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 pew, pew, I would be, I would be king of that game. (laughs) All right. Can we move on now, please? Sure. All right. It's time for our final round. Um, it was revealed that the um. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, uh, the, pr- the precursor to Metal Gear uh, 5, uh, the Phantom Pain, uh, is going is going to be released next month. And Kotaku played through the main story, and it was only two hours long. 
Oh, <laughs> this is very, very short for a Metal Gear game. Oh, yeah. Uh, they've been known to drag out stories like forever. Um, but uh, they said that's not including side missions and stuff like that. But I mean, this is just a pre pre, uh, you know, a pro prologue to the actual game that's coming out later. Um, the boss or the final round question is, have you guys ever been disappointed by the length of a game's main story? Who wants to go first? No, because I have a hard time finishing games in general. Okay. I, I got it. Okay, go ahead. You guys know my uh, my very, very, very bad taste, distasteful uh, realm of hate for Eleanor, right? Yeah. And it, it, would, it wouldn't have been so bad if when I opened that case... There wasn't three discs, and all three discs had four chapters to it. Yeah. And all four chapters were the same thing over and over <laughs> again. So playing that game over and over again, and then having to get up, go over there, put another another disc in there come back over here play the same four things over again <laughs> put it coming to, over and over again it made me insane hey riz you found a lemon examine it <laughs> this has no use for examine. me <laughs> examine that lemon um i i don't know uh the, the games I've been playing recently have a good length. I, I guess uh, my personal preference is the uh, the download for Assassin's Creed uh, Liberation. Mm -hmm. I thought was too short. Um, and because of the way it was done, I think the story for uh, Ghost was too short. Okay. Really? Um, but other than that, I mean, I, I tend to like the length of the games because I always get games and go on vacation. So mm -hmm. I didn't really see see the difference between ghosts. I think that Modern Warfare had the worst, like the worst part because it was or was it Mon? Oh, it was Black Ops, the first Black Ops I played, and that was a short, short game, and it, I think that blew ghosts out of the water and how short it was. Well, I'm not talking, I mean, <clears throat> like the complexity how, of the game. It, it, the story was really good. I didn't want it to end. Oh, well, yeah. That's a good point. But I mean, I, you also have to remember, I mean, I came off of playing um, Assassin's Creed 4 for uh, 25 to 30 hours. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a, a huge difference. Um, but ultimately, it depends on the game. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with mine. You're going to be surprised. It's one of my favorite games, actually. But I'm going to say Skyrim. The main story in Skyrim was way too short. But they're, they balance it with there's tons of other stuff to do in the game. So, I mean, it's not like you're wasting your time. But just the main storyline I'm talking only is very short. Um, right, but you can get shot in the knee. Yeah, yeah, you can get shot with in the an arrow. With an arrow, but uh, yeah, uh, just I, I wish they would have put a little more into the story, but that's just my preference. But yeah, it's a great game. I, I no complaints other than that from Skyrim. I still want. I actually want to go back and play Skyrim again. I was thinking about it today. So, but I, I just love getting lost in that world. It's a big open world, and there's t tons to do other than the main story. But all right. That is going to do it for us this week. Um, you can follow us on at InsertCoinTV. You can watch us live each and every week on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock p.m. on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, you can donate to Chachi Plays at – Chachi? What is it? It's uh, ChachiPlays.com. Okay. And newly redesigned ChachiPlays.com. Yeah. Yes. That's coming up in May. All right, and you can go to extralife.org, and what's our URL for that, Riz? Extra Life. It's also on insertcointobegin.com. Okay. There is, is there, I think there is an updated uh, thing on the side. Okay. I could be wrong. I didn't All right. There yet, uh, but there will be soon. 
There will be soon. But I think if you do <laughs> click on that, it will go like to our to the second page and tell you it's closed, and then it will probably yeah, you can redirect get to you everyone. to the proper area. Go through the proper channels for that. So, <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us this week. We'll see you guys later. Game over.